Stop it, you two! Stop it! It's disgusting! I can't quite believe I said that. Yeah, me neither. We are nothing alike. No, nothing. Except for maybe the pig-headed part. Right. It's stubborn. I guess we're kind of stubborn. Well, you're a bit... You stay away from my son, Taylor. You are a sick woman. Mom, what the hell is the matter with you? I know what you're doing. You're using him just to get back no, to me. No, it's not like that at all. Now, but can you actually be? You think that I took your son, so now you're actually taking mine? Oh, of course you would think that way. That's the way your mind thinks. Because all you're capable of seeing is schemes and manipulations, because that's how you think. Don't you dare deny this. Did I deny anything? Mom, I'll give you an explanation Mom, for I'm anything. A, I'm a grown man, okay? I can make my own decisions here. Honey, please, open your eyes. She's using you just to get back at me. Whatever is going on here between the two of you, I want it to stop. I am not going to allow this. Do you understand me? Why? I am not using your son, Brooke. He's been a lifeline to me. Oh, how convenient. My son is your lifeline. Well, how does that feel now, Brooke? Being on the receiving end, hmm? There. You just admitted to using him. I admitted to what? It is clear that this is an orchestrated attempt to get revenge by manipulating my son's feelings. Oh, my God. Mom, will you just stop it, please? Oh, my gosh, is right. That's something you would pull, but not me. No, I am just starting to realize what a wonderful young man Rick is. That's right. He is wonderful, and he is young. Much too young for you. Well, that's exactly what I used to think. But you know what? He's been the only person who's been there for me, supporting me and standing beside me, even standing up to you, Brooke, his own mother. Oh, my God. This is making me absolutely ill. Can you stop being so dramatic? Rick, I am very thankful to you, and I'm honored, and I'm flattered. I'm flattered about the feelings you have for me. You've been there for me at a time that's been absolutely horrific. And I care about you. I do care deeply for you, too. And it is kind of like you said. Um, you are the only man that your mother can't steal away from me, so... So I am right. Well, actually, you thought of it, not me. So I guess you did take my son away, so now I'll just take yours. All's fair and love and war. <sighs> Rick. Rick, I need to speak with you alone. No. Whatever you have to say, you can say it in front of Taylor. I'm really worried about you, honey. Don't be. Are you acting out? I mean, are you upset with me about something? No, Mom, this has nothing to do with you. Honey, I just can't possibly understand why you would want to get involved with Taylor. That's the thing. It's not for you to understand. Okay, you've got my attention. I get it. You're making a statement. That, that, that's ridiculous. I'm not making a statement, okay? Taylor is important to me. So what are you saying? That you're falling in love with her? What if I am? It's ridiculous. Uh, me either. Taylor, I'm so sorry. For what? For what she puts you through. Oh, you develop a pretty thick skin after a while. Fortunately, it still doesn't excuse where she treats you. No, you don't have to apologize for her. It's a wasted effort anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. Still, it's a funny thing about her. What is? This need she has to control me like I was still 12 years old. Yeah, I think that's true of a lot of mothers. Maybe you were using me to make a point with her. Well, I was trying to make a point, yeah. So that's the reason you planted a big kiss on me in front of her? Well, it really got to her, didn't it? I am so not feeling the love now. Okay, uh well, I, I see. You did. My mom is so convinced that you're using me, and now you're... You're wondering if I'm using you. Are you? You know, something has just come over me, and I can't really explain it. You mean 
when you kissed me yeah. in front of your mother. The kiss, was it for me or was it for her? Both. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. Everything I've ever said to you has been honest. I believe you. You know, I have to tell you, I, I sometimes, I get this, this little voice in my head and I just, I can't control it. And what does this voice say? It says, grab this woman and kiss her. Do you hear this voice often? Oh, only if I'm around the right woman. Are you hearing this voice right now? <sighs> Does that answer your question? I'm hearing a little voice, too. It's saying, let's get out of here before your mother comes back. <laughs>